No, he's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Are you a good girl? Yes, you are. Two amazing things are happening. One, look at that. Zen started eating at some point last night. I am not sure when, but I am grateful. Um, I don't know how much I've said in the videos, but Zen didn't eat for about, ooh, I would say 48 hours. I mean, wouldn't eat anything. Uh, lost over a half a pound. Um, was freaking me out. I mean, I was checking everything. I looked all in his mouth. I was, go I mean, it was awful. I was Googling things, couldn't figure it out, couldn't figure it out. Um, dewormed him actually twice already. Uh, I, you know, normally I wait two weeks, but I just thought, well, maybe he was so overloaded with worms that the medicine didn't work very well. So I don't know. I don't know if it was the dewormer. I don't know. No, you'd be nice. Be nice. I know it's a new kitty. Um, I don't know what it is, but something, something, just kind of I guess clicked with Zen, and Zen started eating at some point last night, and has been showing ever since, which is great. And the second great thing that happened is when I came in, Miss Buttercup was actually over there. Now, when I opened the door, she ran back in here. Um, and hid in the carrier, but when she heard it was me, she came back out again. Um, she's still really scared of stuff, but that's okay. Because once she figures out it's me, she's fine. Only problem is, the big kittens keep hissing at her, huh, Roxy? It's not nice. It's not nice at all. Oh, hi, gorgeous. Hi, Roxy. Are you trying to bury your food? Zen's a barrier. He tries to bury the food in the water when he is done with it. It's kind of cute. Are you going to be nice or mean? Roxy, I think, has finally stopped hissing at Zen, but still hisses at Buttercup. Yeah. Oh, there you, there you go. Hi, Angel. Um. Oh, the others are over there. Hi. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I was in the middle of feeding when I heard Zen eating, so I had to like run in here to show everybody. So there is a half a can of food on the floor. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, I'm sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. Oh, now Zen is hollering at Roxy. Oh well. They're okay. They don't hurt each other, they just hiss. Yes. Hi, Mox. Hi. I know, Mox is getting braver and braver every day, too. Yes, you are. Luna is eating. Fox is playing with Chica or under the door. It's probably Chica. It might be Fig. Fig and Chica like to play with the kittens under the door. But Fig was asleep when I came, last I saw. Okay. Are you going to take a bath now? Well, I'm so happy you're going to take the bath. Okay, well, that's all I wanted. Yeah, so we have to show everybody. And her eyes seem to be getting clear. Now, she, I mean, she's still a little leaky, but they seem to be a lot better than they were. There's a little baby. She's her little baby. She's got a big old belly. Okay. Say bye. What? I know. Tell everybody. I know. It is so hard. I know people have asked about Rainbow a bunch, but it is very, very hard to film her because I could sit in here with her for hours and she wouldn't leave me to go play. She plays a ton. Like, I'll come in here and everything will be all over the place but she only plays if i'm not in here if i'm in here she is where i'm at so it's very difficult <laughs> to film her and i have tried a couple times 
to integrate her into the nursery, but she she has she's she's not a fan. She is she will attack like literally attack the other kittens. So um, she is going to have to be an only cat. I can almost guarantee it. She does not like. I know. Say I have to have my own home. Say I'm the queen. Are you the queen? Yes, I know. You're the queen. I know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, back up. I have to film you. Um, and she is going the next time you see this little beauty. She will not be able to have babies. She is getting spayed on Monday. Yes, aren't you? Yes, you are. I'm having to take her to um, an actual, like, vet, vet, like, I mean, all spay and neuters happen by a vet, but normally I haven't done it in a clinic, but she, I just feel so bad for her being here in the bathroom. Um, you know, she, because she's so friendly and she's so sweet, um, but she's too big for me to adopt out without being spayed. I don't trust um, anyone <laughs> to do it. So, uh, she has to be spayed before she can have her own forever home. So, I just said, and all the clinic's appointments were like four weeks away. And I said, no, we'll just pay the extra for you to be spayed at a regular vet. Because she really, really needs a home. She's so sweet. I can't tell you how sweet she is. To people. She hates other animals. <laughs> Don't you? Okay. Now, I know, baby, but some people might want to see you, like, play and be a kitten. You don't want to, though, do you? Here, look. Let's play with your thing. Will you play with your thing? Okay. I know. Here, what about your fish? Get your fish. I know. Get the fish. Get the fish. No. See? I mean, I know. You just have so much love to give. hear her she purrs so grumbly like her purrs are so grumbly get the belly why do you get the belly oh yes yes you get the belly i know oh oh no 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 biting you're too big for that you're too big yeah be nice here if you're gonna bite bite your fish no okay all right we're going to go. I just wanted to give you an update on Rainbow. And she's going to start biting. So I've got to play with her with toys. I didn't have no bug. Oh, do I need to move? They're all, they were all asleep. I'm a little late feeding them. Um, this afternoon. I mean, they still had a little bit of food. But. They. We were starving. Yeah, are you starving, Mox? Mox was in the tent asleep. Um, I am filming. Nothing important is happening in here. Like, they're not even playing. But I need to film because we have four people. Well, two, pe two families. It's not four people. I mean, it is four people, but it's two families coming tomorrow. Um, to look at Roxy, Rainbow, Zen, and Buttercup. Hey, oh, I don't know. Did I tell everybody Roxy was spayed yesterday? Here, can you show everybody your spay? Yeah, can you show everybody? See, Roxy was spayed yesterday. I can't pull. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. But she was like, she did really good. Um, but... Normally, I like to do the spay and neuters in clumps, 
but I've been ha like I've said before, I'm ha I'm, we've been having a problem with the clinics getting appointments, and they only had one female, and Roxy is the most friendly, and so I, I said, well, we need to do Roxy. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, Miss Luna. Hi, baby. I know you need love. Um, so she was spayed yesterday and um, has a family coming to visit her tomorrow. I really wanted to pair her with another kitten, but the people coming to see her tomorrow do have, oh, that's out of focus, a two-year-old cat. So, I mean, it depends. I mean, like, you know, I have to do the interview and stuff, so I'm not sure. But Roxy may go to her forever home tomorrow. Yes, I know. I have to clean in here. It is a mess. And with people coming over and then let's go get the baby now i do have a family coming to look at zen as well however they have been informed that zen is not 100 percent um i wouldn't say socialized because he is he's fine he's just he's still kind of scared um, so I don't know how that's going to work out. And then I also kind of want Zen and Buttercup paired together because they have been doing really well together. Um, I have noticed that when Buttercup gets scared, she runs to Zen now. If she's out of here, if they're out there and I open the door, she actually runs to Zen, not to the carrier. Um, she's only in the carrier because Zen is. So they may be paired which I don't think the people coming tomorrow are looking in and Buttercup really can't go anywhere um Monday yeah because of her eye Monday I told y'all I would have to take some kittens to the vet eventually Monday Rainbow is being spayed hi um by my regular vet not by a clinic because I couldn't find I can't get a clinic appointment so rainbow is being spayed because she needs a home she's ready she is 100 percent wants a person to love <laughs> so rainbow is being spayed on Monday and Luna is going back in it is the same vet that Luna um, was with in the hospital uh, Luna is going back in to be tested for hyperthyroidism because she hasn't gained any weight. She eats like a horse. Um, you can see her. And I sent a bunch of videos and pictures to the vet. And she said, let's test her for hyperthyroidism. Because if not, we're just going to have to go ahead with the surgery. Um, because if she doesn't have hyperthyroidism, then what's wrong with her is just that she needs the surgery. However, the problem is she's so small. We didn't want to do the surgery so we're actually hoping she has hyperthyroidism because if she does we can correct that and the food that she takes in will make her gain weight whereas in right now it's not so i know it sounds terrible to be hoping for an illness <laughs> oh what was that i know you've got some kind of crud I don't know. I, I really can't tell with this one um, what's going on with her. No, I know. Um, but she is also going on Monday. So, Buttercup, Luna, and Rainbow are all going to the vet on Monday. Yes, we are. And we should know pretty quickly. Um... Because they'll do the blood work Monday morning, and I should know by Monday afternoon if Luna is has hyperthyroid. Yes, I should. Um, so, if she needs medication, I can pick it up when I pick Rainbow up. Yes. Yes. I really, really, really hope that's what it is, because I'd really like her to hit four pounds before she has her surgery. Because that is our goal. Our goal is four pounds. I know, my little angel. Hi, Roxy. 
Foxy. Oh. Oh, look. I know, Dad, stop petting you. I'm sorry. I can't pet but one kitten and hold a camera. Okay, okay. Lay down. You're all right. Hey, Angel. Hey, get back in here. I get loud.